Here's the tail of the tape. Muay Thai at 61.5 kilograms. Michael Wyatt from the US of A taking on Matthew Dahlman from the Netherlands. We go into three rounds of action here in centre ring. 61.5 kilograms. Very light, but still a very strong weight division. Very strong weight division, and especially for the height of these fighters, both around 170 centimeters. So, serious knockout power possible. But let's see, this is a pretty fast paced fight so far. Both fighters have more in that style, so I'll be interested to see. Matthew's got the heavy hands behind him, as you saw there with a beautiful four piece combo. Entering the clinch, both fighters looking strong in the clinch. Matthew has got that face position, allowing him to settle that beautiful left over elbow. And of course, I was expecting Matthew Dahlman to be a pretty heavy puncher. The Dutch fighters come in with explosive hands and explosive leg kicks, of course. Famed fighters like Raymond Deckers did their time here in Thailand. Rest in peace to the legend Raymond Deckers. But Matthew White exploding inside the clinch here, digging that big left knee into the midsection there of Matthew Dahlman. He's looking a little bit phased there by the clinch. As he dumps Matt, Michael White to the ground. I think Michael White might be slightly put from that left elbow of Matthew Dolman. Only ever so slightly, but still it's in a dangerous position if it was to be opened up a little bit more. Beautiful low kick there, didn't quite land. Matthew Dolman's got that guard nice and tight on the back foot, ready to fire that kick and a head kick at that. Beautiful work from our fighter from the Netherlands. If I was in Michael's corner, I'd be just telling him to walk forward and keep the hands nice and high and clinch up and lock on to the neck and deliver those punishing left knees that he was doing before. They were working well for him, and I think he could potentially stop Matthew Dahlman in his tracks with those big left knees there. Oh, and a nice catch and dump there from Michael White. That was a big dunk right off the canvas into the air and on back onto it again. Matthew Dallas firing that kick though. Nice balance, stayed on his feet there. A little bit of show of come on, bring me some more. And that's exactly what Matthew, Michael White, sorry, is doing. Catching that leg and taking him to the floor again. Michael White seems to be a bit of a stable house name in the world of martial arts, of course. Michael White. An actor, an American actor who's starred in many martial arts films. He might be channeling some of that energy in this fight as well. Michael White is looking very strong in the clinch there. Some beautiful knee work. Needs to continue with that. Following up with a nice right body kick. Trying to find his rhythm in this fight. Coming in with a spear elbow there against Matthew Dolphin. I just think that Matthew has got slightly more power behind his kicks and behind his shot. Beautiful right uppercut there, throwing the head back of Matthew. What a fight, what a brilliant matchup we have between these two fighters. Both similar in style, similar in height, exactly the same weight. Beautiful matchup. And there's that tiny, tiny cut on the face of Michael but I don't think it's enough to cause any damage or anything significant at this point. Beautiful step up knee there from Matthew from the Netherlands there. But really for me, it was those big punishing left knees that Michael was delivering early in that round. And I think if he can go back, if he can go back to that and just lock up on Matthew, he could potentially end this fight, deliver the spearing knees through the midsection don't get too hungry with the elbows because I think the knees might do the job for him. What would you be telling at Matthew's corner? I'm not quite sure because those body kicks were working a treat, but they were getting caught, which is not a position you want to be in. I'd be telling him to go for exactly what he went for in the first five, 10 seconds. Big volume punches, big leg kicks, because I don't think Michael knew how to deal with that pressure in the first maybe 10 seconds. And that's exactly what he's doing there. Beautiful hook low kick combination from Matthew. Just needs to take strong on his feet 
keep that balance. And of course, this is a foreign matchup. Michael White from America taking on Matthew Dalman from the Netherlands. Nice long guard. Getting a big kick upstairs there from Michael White. Michael White seems to have been listening to you, Joey. Pressure him forward. You can see he wants to get in the clinch. And a beautiful takedown on the way. Those takedowns really are doing it for him at this point. Also takes a lot out of your gas tank trying to get up from those. It's a bit soul destroying sometimes when you get those big dumps and your opponent stands over you. And a, oh, and a big right elbow straight through the guard, sending Matthew down for the eight count, it seems. That dropped him like a sack of potatoes. That came out of nowhere as well. Was that an elbow, Joe? Yeah, it was a delivering elbow straight through the guard. Beautiful slice and dice there. Beautiful big left knee there. But he's got to be careful not to get too hungry with the elbows. And that is one thing that fighters tend to do if they see something that works. But you've got to keep your opponent guessing here. Don't get too elbow happy because you can eat one yourself. And you can see here he is getting a little bit elbow happy. Go back to the knees, I would be saying. Go back to the knees and go over the top. Keep Spree. He's, he's seeing what's working, he just wants to keep going and keep going with that right elbow as well because he's seen a bit of physical damage and he's thinking, I can stop this fight early if I land another clean elbow on the cut of Matthew. Good pushing his hips against Matthew there on the ropes. Matthew looking up at the, the clock there, delivering some heavy hands. Again with that right elbow of Michael, he's just going for it now, he's trying to go, keep going, but he needs to get the arm control and set the elbow up, attempted, but spinning back this there of Matthew, who is all out of options at this point, you would see covering up, just trying to protect that cut, protect the damage, beautiful body kick though. Big display of heart there from Matthew from the Netherlands, pure Dutch style, huge heart, huge power, holding on, Big right kick there, but you can see Michael putting him in the corner there, delivering the punishment upstairs. Tries to go for the double up there from Matthew. Locks on inside the clinch here. Oh, big elbow. And it looks like that one cut Matthew on the outside of the eye. I think that has opened up the cut even more, which is exactly what Michael's been trying to do this entire round. Just absolutely overloaded with elbows. What? A matchup and what a fight! And that is the end of round number two. So we're going to have a look at some of the replays. What would you be telling at Matthew's corner right now? I'd be saying protect the damage on your face and try and stop playing this game at range because those body kicks of Matthew have got some real power behind them. I don't know if you can hear at home, but honestly, the crack and the echo in the stadium of those of those kicks and those knees, he really needs to start playing the long game. I think that's where he's actually doing better, but I don't think it's quite what he's used to. So he's not quite got the IQ to kind of switch his style. What about you, Joe? Well, I'd be telling Michael's corner to definitely go back to the knees. I think they were working a treat in the first round. He can deliver that big left knee and then send the elbow off the top. He'll have a bit more success instead of just hunting for it all the time. But here we are into round number three. Beautiful matchup here at Fairtex Fight for our second bout of the morning. Really setting the stand in here early on. There's that beautiful right body kick of Matthew. And again, that's exactly what I wanted to see him doing in this round. Playing that long game and damaging the body. Staying away from the clinch. Teeing off and setting up that body kick. Nice low kick to follow up as well. Michael is edging forward. He's determined to land another elbow, it would seem. Dalman getting a bit of a second win here. Trying to move forward. Michael catches the kick there. Dalman pressuring forward with big heavy hands. And there's that big Dutch style kick up top. Stiff 
but powerful. A little flurry of punches there from Michael White. And that's what I'd like to see is in Muay Thai setting things up with classic boxing, just fluttering, fluttering, and then delivering the big power shot. It seems to me like Matthew's found his second win. He's found his rhythm a bit. He's landing some beautiful four-piece combinations, like you said, Joe, setting up his kicks with punches and really playing to his strengths at this point. Locks on on the inside, tries to go for the vice grip there from Michael White. But our referee breaks him apart. Beautiful uppercut of Matthew is working a treat against Michael, who's locking on, trying to get a good position in the clinch. Takes the back of Michael White. As I often say, it doesn't necessarily score, but a secondary criteria of domination. But Michael White brings it back. Throws Matthew off balance, sets it up with a big left kick inside the clinch. And tempted spear elbow there from Matthew, followed up with a beautiful big body kick. You can see the reddening damage on Michael from those body kicks of Matthew. I, I cannot even emphasize how much power they have behind them for 61 kilograms. It is quite phenomenal. Both fighters looking a little bit tired now, a little bit surviving in center ring. But let's see who can take this fight. Beautiful evade encounter with a nice two-piece combination from Michael, followed by a chopping low kick. Real beautiful display of Western Muay Thai here. That solid thundering elbow from Matthew Dahlman over the top. He's doing a brilliant job of parrying the jab, moving the hands out of the way and following up with that spear elbow. Spinning back this to follow it up as well. He's really looking for the knockout now. Here we are, locked up inside the clinch and side control here. Matthew Dahlman delivering the punishing left knees himself. Trying to give it back to Michael White. The same punishment that he gave him in round one. Revenge here, right in the dying seconds of the third and final round as the bell is about to go. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight and a great display of sportsmanship to end things here in center ring here at Lumpini Stadium. One of the things that I love about Fairtex Fight is the ability to get these even matchups. Sometimes promotions, they don't quite get this. They don't get it to a T, but Fairtex Fight really deliver on their matchups. It's always a matchup of styles that give the most exciting fights, especially in these three three-minute rounds. What a display of Western Muay Thai Joe, like you said, between Matthew and Michael this morning. I really thoroughly enjoyed watching that fight. Yeah, it was a very exciting fight indeed. It was a pleasure to watch that, both these gentlemen. Hope to see them back here in center ring. But for now, we'll throw it over to Mr. Pong. The winner is Red Corner. เป็นทางด้านของนักสู้จากสหรัฐอเมริกาครับไมเคิลไวท์ครับเอาชนะนักสู้จากเนเธอร์แลนด์แมทธิวคลานแมนไปได้